I love Brazil so much. I have one a quick question to start. What is the first scary movie you remember watching in your life? I think it was Chucky. It's about four oh, years old. Oh, I perfect. watched it in Brazil, actually. Really? Yeah, I, I did watch it in Brazil, and I would watch all of these movies um, on my on my grandma's bed. And I remember Chucky being one of the first ones, and and uh, it was just terrifying. And I've never seen it since, and I don't know if I ever will because I just have such a warm memory of it. In a way, just being very scared as a little kid, and the, Chucky's little knife. And it's not really a scary movie, but the first movie that I think scared me was Ghostbusters, and it was just the opening scene. The opening scene with the lady in the library freaked me out as a kid, and that that made me intrigued with with scary movies after that. Yes, absolutely. That's one of the things that I admire so much about the both of them is that they have their dream and and they know what it is they want and they go after it and and you know even though that their environment and everything around them is you know trying to bring them down they they won't succumb to that and they just carry on and i love the new characters in maxine and how they seem to um symbolize some ideas in this fame hollywood uh, world so i wonder if there's any of them that took you longer to figure out or to guess maybe as the story sort of you know started to come together as i was writing it the, 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 you kind of start writing the characters and the snowball starts rolling and they start becoming who they are. I think it was it was the evolution of Maxine's character that probably took the most time. When I first met Mia, she had such a uh, like hunger to to take on the responsibility of the of the lead role of a movie and to play two characters in one movie and just you know embrace the challenge of that. And I think she did that in Pearl as well and also in Maxine. I think she just wants to be challenged and she wants to always like be better each time. And I think that's a uh, like an inspiring attitude and it's kind of what you need as a like a partner in crime to go through this much work in such a short period of time. I just wanted to be famous. Ty said that he wrote the scene in the psycho back lot without knowing if you could have permission to shoot there. So I wonder for you with your Korean in horror, how was the feeling of being close to a classic like this? It was incredible. It, it was a really special day. Um, and when you're on that set and, you know, you can, you can feel it. There's something so sacred about it. And I think uh, it impacted the scenes in a way that I hadn't anticipated. And it's definitely uh, one of my favorite days on sets. The way of making cinema and its connection with the characters are at the core of three movies, I think, and it changes with the times. So how do you think that the way of make cinema today will be represented in the future? It's very difficult to tell when you're living through something what it's going to be perceived as. So, you know, and we're so technologically focused that it's especially weird because I think years from now, everything's going to be so much, there's going to be so much more technology that the technology of today is going to seem so antiquated. So it's hard to know. I mean, it's part of the charm of doing something in a period prior to, you know, too much digital technology is that uh, it really, you, it can exist as a time capsule of a time in the real world, which I think as, as we progress in society, we're going to get less about the real world and more about the online world. And so it'll be, it'll certainly be strange to look back at today. I really do believe we've explored every facet possible in this universe. I don't know where else it could, where else we could take it. I, I think it's the perfect movie to cap off this trilogy. But I think each movie has a scene or scenes that I, that, you know, turned out really how I hoped them to be. And so I can kind of, you know, feel pretty good about those. I think with Maxine, um, you know, there's a handful of moments that are really good for an audience to see on the big screen all together that elicit big reactions. And that's, that's appealing because part of the fun of this last movie is that it just be a big, fun theatrical experience. And there's certainly a lot of characters that get themselves into let's say, bad situations that are that are fun to see with a crowd. I hope you know your Brazilian uh, fans love your work very much, so it's really nice to talk to you. Oh, it's <laughs> my pleasure to talk to you. I love Brazil so much.